Introducing NASA astronaut Bob Bankin. I think if you ask any of us, as graduates of a, a test pilot school program, uh, what we wanted to do as the dream job, it would be the part of the development of a new spacecraft. Introducing Boeing astronaut Chris Ferguson. There's just something about going to space that has always been special. And, and I, I always thought I could satisfy my curiosity by going one time. And I quickly found out that that didn't work. It's, space is just, there's something magnetic about it. Introducing NASA astronaut, Doug Hurley. You as one of the astronauts flying the vehicle, how you interact with that vehicle, whether it's controlling it, whether it's monitoring it, whether it's living in it and, and getting it to the space station and back. I mean, that's really what we bring to the table. Introducing NASA astronaut, Eric Bowe. We have simulators now, we have all these things that are, 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 are mainly hardware, things you can really touch and, and feel and you realize it's getting close. And so to me that's what really makes this time really exciting is because you can, you can really imagine it now because you've got the hardware and you, and you know it's going to go into space here shortly. Introducing NASA astronaut, Nicole Anapu Mann. I'm most looking forward to launching from American soil. And then uh, when I do get to space, looking back and seeing Earth and seeing America and all the people that have worked so hard to make this possible. And I look forward to sharing that moment with everybody.